Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Wednesday, December 14th. Tesla is launching a new solid-state hard drive. The need for more storage has increased for Tesla vehicles after the release of features like Sentry Mode and Tesla Cam. These features record video from Tesla's autopilot cameras for security purposes, but the advent of video games in Tesla vehicles has increased the need for storage. Just yesterday, we reported that Tesla launched the Steam video game library, and the new solid-state drive is available from Tesla in their online store. The one terabyte drive can be purchased for $350. Drives of this size generally sell for around $100, but, you know, it's actually quite normal for Tesla to sell their peripherals and sometimes the merchandise at a premium. As a matter of fact, just last year, they sold a whistle for $50. Tesla does not publicly disclose data sets from the full soft driving campaign, and some people out there have been sourcing drivers' reports to examine Tesla's program improvements. A group of Tesla full self-driving testers has been self-reporting data for a while, and Taylor Ogan of Snowball Capital has tracked it to see the progress. And the brief peak doesn't really look all that great. Based on the very limited data, Tesla's full self-driving beta can only drive a few miles between disengagement, while other self-driving programs like Waymo and Cruise are reporting tens of thousands of miles between disengagement on average. Based on this single metric, Tesla doesn't have too much progress since the last time that they reported last year. In this period, Tesla removed radar sensors from the vehicles, relying only on vision cameras. But now they are making moves to reinstate them. Again, Tesla won't disclose the progress of the program, but Elon Musk has asked those who are curious to test out the cars for themselves. Unfortunately, other owners are mirroring these limited findings. Elon Musk said that he will make sure that Tesla shareholders benefit from Twitter long term. This is after he just lost billions of dollars buying Twitter. As we reported earlier this month, Tesla is having its best year ever by almost every financial metric, except for the stock price which is now at a two-year low. One of the main culprits of the stock price is Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter and the reaction both from the broad market and social media. But now Gary Black, a big-time investor and a longtime Elon Musk supporter, brought up the issue on Twitter, and Musk replied, quote, I will make sure Tesla shareholders benefit from Twitter long-term. So far, the CEO hasn't provided any details. Hopefully it doesn't take too terribly long since there is a fair amount of ground to cover, even in the last few months alone. Volkswagen of America is going to start an update program in the U.S. for the ID4 software on 2021 models and certain 22 models. Where applicable, owners will be asked to book an in-person appointment with their local dealer for the update and a replacement of the car's 12-volt battery. The software upgrade adds a charge route feature to the ID4's navigation system, and that will allow drivers to search specifically for Electrify America stations. Speaking of that, stations will be found in the in-car navigation system, which is pretty neat. Another new feature that the software update will bring is called Auto Hold. Once drivers bring the ID4 to a complete stop, they can release the brake pedal, and Auto Hold stops the car from rolling until they press the accelerator. The ID4 cockpit digital display is also being upgraded with more information, and the current drive mode will also be shown on all-wheel drive models, indicating whether the car is set in eco, comfort, sport, custom, or traction mode. The ID cockpit display will also show a trip computer, adding current driving data and ambient temperature after the upgrade. Mercedes-Benz says it's realigning its powertrain production network to ease into the electric transition. Mercedes will become an electric-only brand where market conditions allow by 2030, and this is part of the effort. The automaker will invest around 1 billion euros in realigning its production setup for electric powertrain systems, including batteries, drive units, and electric axles, starting in 2024. Two German battery plants and one in China will produce batteries for the new EQ models. Romania and Beijing locations will start ramping up electric powertrains, and two other plants in Germany will begin sending electric axles. Battery recycling specialist Redwood Materials has announced its next expansion in the U.S., which includes a new battery materials campus in Charleston, South Carolina. As Redwood's easternmost facility in the U.S., it will join what is being called the Battery Belt Corridor, going between Michigan and Georgia. Redwood Materials is a company founded by J.B. Straubel, a Tesla co-founder, 
and it specializes in recycling, refining, and remanufacturing used batteries and turning them into cells for EVs. Today, they are sharing their intentions to invest $3.5 billion into the local Charleston community and provide over 1,500 new jobs. When the new U.S. Battery Material Campus is complete and fully operational, Redwood expects it will produce 100 gigawatt hours of cathode and anode components per year, enough to power more than 1 million EVs. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Atgull says, If someone says they are going to do something, it's not a promise, unless the actually say, I promise. You're right, Atgull. Yesterday I said I was going to get some chicken noodle soup, but I never did say I promise. But I'll promise you something else. After this time of great unrest that we have witnessed recently, the pendulum is going to swing again the other way. Some 20 to 30 years from now, the adults of this nation will be venerated, and the new social norms and rules that they create will be embedded deeply into the social structure. Their children at that time will grow in a time of tight social order, even stringent, and the children that those kids raise will rebel and tear down the existing institutions. Okay, maybe it's not a promise, maybe it's a prophecy, or maybe it's science. You decide. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I promise you'll have a great day.